female egg and the male sperm coming together to allow the human population to carry on and flourish. It's a well-known fact that without the female egg and the male sperm coming together, life would be impossible. Only with both will a baby be created. This is the gift of human life, one of the most precious and miraculous gifts bestowed on mankind. But though we've been procreating and reproducing for eons, science has only recently begun to understand this complex process. Think back to the movies that depicted the olden days. A queen is pregnant and give birth to a baby girl when it is a male heir that is required. Uh-oh. Then she's promptly blamed for the baby's gender by her husband and his family. Well, guess what? According to basic genetics, the king and his family are all fools. If they must blame someone for the gender of their newly arrived bundle of joy and diapers, or nappies if you're British, then it is the king they should blame, as we now know that it is the male sperm that determines the sex of the baby. But this important and interesting question about creation was only answered relatively recently. Who or what determines the gender, sex of a baby? Is it the egg or the sperm? Is it a combination of the two? Scientists and scholars argued about this for ages before determining the truth, namely that the sperm, which carries either an X or a Y chromosome, is what determines a baby's gender, since all female eggs are the same and carry only the X chromosome. Thus, when a man's sperm carries the X chromosome, you will have XX and a baby girl. But when a man's sperm carries the Y chromosome, you get XY and a baby boy is the result. Of course, today this is common knowledge among the scientific community, but that wasn't always the case, as many a poor old queen will tell you. The first indication that sex chromosomes were distinct from other chromosomes came from experiments conducted by German biologist Hermann Henking in 1891. While using a light microscope to study sperm formation in wasps, Henking noticed that some wasp sperm cells had 12 chromosomes, while others had only 11 chromosomes. All right, guys, sorry for this uh, kind of, uh, like, uh, this browser here was giving me difficulty to be able to see in the screen, actually. And yet, the Facebook is the one told me to use a uh, Google browser. But look like we have a difficulty to be able to see it from my side. Anyway, so uh, this is why I wasn't able to see if you guys have a video from your side or not. Uh, uh, peace of Christ to all of you. As you see, this is a video made by the Muslims about how the Quran is teaching us uh, about the gender of the baby. Now, for sure, we made many videos before about them, but it doesn't hurt to get them busted again because somebody will be fooled by the graphic and, uh, you know, uh, uh, a white woman. This is why they hire her because they want to tell you that those are European speaking about the science, not um, you know European. Her, her woman is a, a, her name is a Claire, so she is a British uh, citizen who speak a clear English, and she is teaching you about the science of the Quran. But right away you will notice how much deceiving those videos are, and this woman she is hired for a job, she is making this is not her video you know you see you can tell this video took a lot of work decoration it's a professional official company doing a business for for muslims but for us this is not really our business let them lie as much as they want for us is how to prove what they say to be a lie focus with me again and let us see what she said in procreating and reproducing for eons science has only recently begun to understand this complex process Think back to the movies that depicted the olden days. A queen is pregnant and give birth to a baby girl when it is a male heir that is required. Uh-oh. Then she's promptly blamed for the baby's gender by her husband and his family. Well, guess what? According to basic genetics, the king and his family are all fools. If they must blame someone for the gender of their newly arrived bundle of joy and diapers, or nappies if you're British, then it is the king they should blame, as we now know that it is the male sperm that determines the sex of the baby. All right, so 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 she just said that the male sperm is the one which will determine the sex of the baby. Now, you see here, I'm not going to play the whole video. You can watch it yourself. I will move to where she may speak about which verses in the Quran speak about that. But before that, we let us go and see a graphic she herself present for us in her video. Is it a combination of the two? Scientists and scholars argued about this for ages before determining the truth, namely that the sperm, which carries either an X or a Y chromosome, is what determines a baby's gender, since all female eggs are the same and carry only the X chromosome. 
Thus, when a man's sperm carries the X chromosome, you will have XX and a baby girl. But when a man's sperm carries the Y chromosome, you get XY and a baby boy as the result. Of course, today this is common knowledge among the scientific community, but that wasn't always the case, as many a poor old queen will tell you. The first indication that sex chromosomes All right. are distinct... Let us move now to the, to the point where they speak about the Quran, because the rest between, this is what the Muslims they do. They will t quote for you a thousand names of uh, scientists in order to convince you that this is a very scientific uh, uh, presentation, not in fiction here. This is why they quote for you all the famous names. The famous names is used to deceive you, to fool you, to make you feel that we are inconsistent with science and whatever scientists they say, it is exactly what the Quran say. Determining factor. God says in the Holy Quran, he has created both sexes, male and female, from a watery bit of the semen which has been ejected. The term watery bit of semen in the verse above is referring to the sperm component of semen. All right. So now what they are saying to you that the one who did determine, as we heard before in the beginning of the video, that the, the, the one determined the gender of the baby simply is the male. And she is quoting for us chapter 45, uh, chapter 53, verse number 45, 46. Now, is that true what she is saying? Does the Quran speak when the word mentioned as a semen? Is that the Quran is speaking about man? He have a semen and this is what determined the baby. The verse of all, first of all, and you know, just to teach you how to debunk the Muslim argument very, very easy from their own false translation. The verse in the front of us saying, he has created both male and female. You see, here they added the word sexes, male and female from water, bit of semen. Okay, so this verse is speaking about what? That the creation happened by the semen. That is a very false statement anyway. It's, it's, it's contained an error not a science because what the Quran claim that you and me we are created from semen and the Quran forgot about something is called egg why the Quran did not say we created you from uh, an egg because simply the sperm does not create them person you know you are created really from the egg not from the sperm the sperm will activate the egg and carry the DNA message which is going to be recopied millions of times in the egg but we are not really created from the sperm itself so here the verse first of all contain a very scientific error not a science secondly the Quran teach in a very amazing stupid way that women have semen and men have semen which mean if we want to say now that we are created from semen and the Quran confirmed that the semen is the semen of the man and the semen of the women, then we cannot say that this semen is the egg of the women. For semen is semen and egg is an egg. As long they are the one who confirmed to us from their own statement that this is semen, so now we do not need to go and show you more verses to prove to you that he meant semen, not an egg. As you see, the Muslims themselves are making a video with a graphic for it. Now, if we go in the Quran, and we search what the Quran is saying about this verse exactly. If we go and see the Muslim interpretation for this verse, what the Muslim they will say. Let us do that. You see, I don't do what the Muslims do. I always will show you what Islam itself teach and what Islam believe. Chapter 53, verse number 46, 45, 46. All right. We go to the Islamic interpretation website. All right. And the reason I show you how the Muslims give interpretation, all right, uh, just to show you how Muslims they lie even in their translation. And the verse in the Quran says, It is him who created for you the bear of male and female. It is he himself who created the two spouse, two kind, male and female. Verse number 40, 46. From a drop of semen, once 
it is emitted once it's pured forth into the womb all right now this is the Muslim translation by the way the word here there's no womb this is addition so uh, it says from a sperm when it's ejaculated this is ex exactly what the verses say in the Quran now the Quran here based in her explanation and based in the verse in the front of us it is coming from our creation is coming from a drop of semen all right not our gender not our gender so look how the Muslims they false their own Quran the ad words is not exist and make it as it is about where is the gender coming from when the verse is speaking about where we are recreated to understand this in better way we have to go to different verse in the Quran which Muslim they will try always to hide for for you chapter 86 verse number 7 Actually, let us show the verse before it and the verse after it, so the Muslim, they will not say we are taking it out of context. The response of he, it is he who created you, created from a gushing fluid, gushing forth from the man and from the women. Do you see it? Do you see it? So if this is a sperm, as she mentioned, the water, the water there is a sperm coming from the man and from the women. If we go back to the verse she gave us all right here it says a drop of semen a drop of semen this is chapter 53 drop of semen in this chapter 86 verse number six again it says that you are created from a gushing fluid and all of us we knew that this gushing fluid is something not internal it's coming out it's something come out so and this gushing fluid, as you see, the Muslim understand it and the Quran saying it, that this is a gushing from the man and from the women. Now, do science teach that women, they have a gushing fluid and this is what is going to make a baby? It's a fluid? That for sure is a stupid. So the Quran teach that the, uh, uh, the women have a sperm and the man have a sperm. In verse number seven, we will see that yes, the Quran confirm again something even more stupid and more funny. He is giving us details where is the sperm of the man is coming from and where is the sperm of the women coming from. And all of us, we knew that there is no sperm coming from the women. That's a lie. That's stupid. Issuing from between the loins of the man, the backbone, and the breast bones of the women. So the Muslim, they will not show you how stupid the Quran is. They try to make the verse. They are showing us in the video that this is about science. And this is how God created the both sexes and look how look how they fabricate the translation he has created both sexes in order in order to fool you in the translation they add the word both sexes it doesn't say that it doesn't say that in the Quran it's the whole sentence here is a lie does not even exist both sexes is not exist what is exist it is he has created you male and female from ejaculation of a sp of semen of a sperm actually it's not even correct here it's ejaculation of a drop of a sperm so here they change the translation and you can go right now and check all the translation you want if we go right now and we say okay we are going to go to chapter 53 verse number 54 what we will find we will find that all of this is a pure lie again so the Quran not only and by the way we can go we can go and we can see the Muslim translation you know just to show you how Muslim they lie in their translation you see when I say Muslim lie I'm not talking about all Muslims uh, I'm talking about those who claim to be religious and they are promoting for us false and, and lies uh, because many Muslim they have no idea what even we are talking about that is the truth so if we go here and we see the muslim translation for this verse you will see how the verse is going to be very from different from uh, from person to, for, to person why because the muslims some of them or most of them they try to cover up things in the quran and look here how the translation change from the translation we saw in the video to this translation he created you pairs male and female where it says sexes 
Why they mention the word sexist? Because the whole video is meant to be about gender, which means the Muslims, they are willing to change even the words of the Quran just to confirm a false statement they have. So they added the word both sexes, but in fact, it's not even exist in their book. If we go and find, let us see all the translation. I'm not going to see any one of them only like by itself. Can we find the word sexist exist? We cannot find it. It says, we created you in pair, male and female, as simple as, as this. All right. Now, if we go to the Quran, chapter 86, verse number. Seven. And see what the Muslim translate this verse here. It is issuing, guys, look at this. Issuing from between. Anything you see between two brackets, they are trying to add it. Issuing from between the backbone and the ribs. How in the world you are telling me about science in the Quran and yet your Quran is teaching you that there is sperm coming from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. This is what you Muslims call science. And yet you say to us 1400 years ago, Allah, he determined to us how gender is. It is coming from the sperm of the women. That is an absolute lie. Have you ever heard of a stupidity like this? Imagine if the Bible says that the sperm of the women is coming from her from her bones. Actually, you see the, the taraib in Arabic is not even the bones of the breast. It is the location of the necklace, which means the upper side of your chest. The location of the necklace you see when the the, the ribs uh, they meet together exactly if you put your finger between your your neck and your your ribs that is what is the quran believe or teach that women have a, a sperm and their sperm is coming from there so it's coming from two direction the direction of the man and direction of the women and this is not my statement this is how the muslims always explain it and this is what taraib mean taraib is not taraib is not the bones of the man it's meant always the bones of the women if we go to Ibn Kathir, let us see Ibn Kathir. Just to make things clear for you, that we are not choosing our own, uh, maybe I prefer a certain uh, interpretation, you know, maybe uh, I choose uh, Jalalain, maybe uh, Jalalain he is working for me, you know, maybe, right? Let us see all the maybes are, can, can be located, all the chances. And you will see always how this is, the verse was explained. For century, centuries and centuries, and Muhammad himself, he will explain it to us. I will show you that this is not a misunderstanding of a Muslim scholar. This is what Muhammad himself, he did believe. And this is what he taught. So here at Tariq, from 1 to 8. <clears throat> okay, so let the man see what he has created. This is alerting men to the weakness of his origin, etc., uh, uh, okay, etc. He is created from water gushing forth, and that's again false because we are not created from the gushing forth water. Meaning, the sexual fluid coming out, bursting forth from the man and from the women. You guys, you saw it in your eyes. The Quran teach that there is gushing fluid coming from the women. And gushing fluid coming from the man is going to create both of you, male and female. Absolutely, this is a stupid science and this does not exist because women egg is not a gushing fluid and it doesn't even go out. It stay in. It is the sperm have to swim inside and then there is one egg, not 10 eggs. Because when you say gushing fluid, it means you are talking about millions of little particles they make together look liquid. So what the Quran is teaching is absolutely the opposite of what it's called science. And look how they try to make what is fiction, stupid, garbage. They try to make it as science to make you convert to the skull. Thus, the child is produced from both, both of them. Both of what? The water of the man and the water of the women. Here, explanation more. Proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs. Okay, ribs of who and backbone of who? Let us see meaning the backbones of the man and the ribs of the women. Can you believe it? So they are making for us 
a video with the graphic and presentation to teach you how amazing the science of the Quran is but then we find that all of this is a pure lie it's a stupid the Quran teach the opposite the Quran teach us that women have a sperm and the man have a sperm and when they meet together it's a gushing fluid the gushing fluid of the women is coming from the upper side of her ribs and the gushing fluid of the man is coming from his backbone and all of us we knew that this is false because bones don't generate sperm and not the backbone so here there's two mistakes actually not only one actually there's many first of all we are created from sperm that's false we are not created from sperm it was the egg is going to split and grow the egg itself is going to split and grow the sperm only do activation the sperm never grow same time the Quran confirmed that there is a water of the man coming from the backbone as you see and that is a stupid because there is no sperm coming from the backbone since when which science will confirm to us that backbone makes sperm the backbone he's talking about is the last bone in your back that's how stupid the Quran is and the ribs here is the location of the necklace here he has given us more details. Read carefully, even please. Proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs, the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. It is fluid. It is yellow and fine in texture. So Muhammad now here, he is quoting his prophet. This has saved me from going and finding the hadith. This is Muhammad talking. From Muhammad, I can show you the hadith in, in from Muhammad's mouth. That Muhammad, he said, explaining what is the fluid of the women, which means the sperm of the women. He described it as yellow and fine in texture. So Muhammad describing how he experienced when having sex with women that they have a yellow texture in their vagina. So Muhammad, he think, claiming that God told him that this is a sperm of the women and it's coming from her ribs. This is the super intelligence of the of Muhammadan. The child will not be born except from both of them, i.e. sexual fluid. Do you see it? So imagine the stupidity became science. The stupidity became science. If we go in the Quran, we will find the following. I mean the Hadith, just to confirm what, what, uh, what Ibn Kathir said. And sorry, I cannot see any comment. You know, uh, this browser is not working. I will try to use maybe uh, Firefox or something else. Uh, let us see. Here we go. Muhammad here. <laughs> Muhammad here is giving us explanation for that verse. The messenger of Allah said, the man water is thick and white. The, man, the, the women water is thin and yellow. Whoever of them, whichever of them come first, he will determine the gender. So look, look how they lie to us even about this. They said that the sperm of the man is the one who decide the gender because this is what science says but their prophet and the Quran have different opinion we are created from water and the water of the man is thick and white and that is the sperm we know what it is and then now Muhammad he cannot shut up so he have to give us more poo poo getting himself busted and the women water is thin and yellow so whoever come first the child will resemble the parents, which means will be male or female. So look how they lie from stupidity to science and pure science. Can you imagine more stupid than this? How in the world you Muslims, how you feel about, about this lie? I mean, aren't you ashamed that you fabricate I mean, you see, they accuse us that we are the one changing the meaning of the Bible. We are the one who corrupt the Bible. But if we go and we check, we find that it is the Muslims who change the meaning of the Quran. And even they add words for the Quran, as you show, showed you. Where in the verse in the Quran it says, we created for you both sexes. Where we can find it? It was an additional added to the, uh, to the verse in order to make you believe that it says sexes which mean Quran spoke about the gender not about the creation this is why they added the word sexes otherwise I challenge you because you see look in here it doesn't make sense to say both sexes and then you say male and female 
So why he said both sexes? So the word both sexes is not exist. What is exist in the Quran is male and female. And it is created from a drop of sperm. Not even a semen. All right. Not a water bit of, you see here the word about water bit. This is a lie too. This is additional lie. So what we notice here, it is like a chain of lying and nothing can stop them from lying except you being educated and you know what they are talking about. So what we do, we go to the chapters they did gave us and we read. Thank God we have some Muslim website they have in English. And by the way, this is an official website of the Kingdom of Jordan. This is a website owned by the King of Jordan himself. This is not a private website. All right, just to let you know. And then we go here and we will find that the whole translation is absolutely false. He, he created you in pairs, male and female, and that's it. And we can change from uh, uh, Tafsir Jalalain to Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas is the cousin of the Prophet of Islam. And that he created you two spouses in pair. That's it, male and female. Where is the sexes coming from? Do you see it? So they lie to us to make this verse speaking about gender when has, it has nothing to do with gender except it is a stupid too because it's still Allah created us according to the verse according to, to their own translation even that he created us both from water water of the man and water of the women but that is absolutely stupid I'm not going to keep this video for long I'm going to go uh, uh, to stop this video here and please guys share with your friends and share with everybody uh, let them know that we are doing live broadcast in, uh, in, uh, in, in Facebook and the reason I want to keep it uh, short so you guys you can download it easy and depend on your account in YouTube or whatever account you have you can still download it and you can share it I posted in my page how to download uh, 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 Facebook However, I made a video in YouTube to show you how to do it too. So you can do that. It's very easy. You can type in uh, in Google how to download. There is a website. Uh, um, I forgot the name. Uh, uh, you know, you can download. It's very easy. You know, I made a video about it. You can watch it in YouTube. So, so thank you very much. And I'm going to start another podcast after this one. But I will be sure this time I will use different browser so I can see the text and your guys your text to me i see nothing right now it's in front of me it's blind i don't know it's even black so thank you for being here i will be back live on air in less than maybe let us say 20 minutes i will make some tea and i will be back to you thank you and god bless you and this is a christian prince with you love you all see you soon bye bye